Okay guys, today I'm very excited to be showing you my Banix 500S Kaigen reel. I mean reels. <laughs> Alright guys, forgive me, I don't have the tripod today, but uh, order two of these Banix Kaigen 500S. Uh, I live out here in sunny Southern California. And we're allowed to fish up to 300 feet deep out here, so that's what I'll be doing. When you first open it up, you have your instruction manual right here, and some kind of a card, I don't know what this is for. It's the PE card, so it lets you know how many meters of PE3, PE4, PE5, and PE2 line you can use. There's also this little tool right here, which is used to pull the line through your level line, the eye. So I'll set these aside. Next, there's this white cardboard, and if you look in there, you have the wires to hook it up to a battery. Beneath that is the reel itself. Also in the bag, there is a reel bag. Feels like it's made out of a cheap material, probably cotton. And then everything else is cardboard in there. So, on the box it lets you know it's a 3.5 to 1, 6 ball bearings. It weighs 785 grams, 15 grams power of drag, so it does state it's 66 pounds of drag. It gives you the line retrieval rate, and again your PE line the radians. So 400 yards of PE4, or it's 400 meters, 300 meters of PE5 and also 300 meters of P6. In the back we have the fishing line data input instructions for spooling the thing up. The information on how to program it when you put the line on. And there's an input method B right here. So there's two different methods for putting the line on and letting the reel know how much line you want to put in there. Um, there's also a video somewhere else on YouTube, I believe, that shows you how to do that as well. Besides that, we have the reel. There it is. You have a jigging, an auto stop, and a range to surface button right there. This is how you start and stop the reel. It's also got this jog dial on the side. You can see that it's linked to this dial on the inside. When you turn one, they both turn. Pretty nice looking handle. It is aluminum. Star drag. It looks like it's a black speckled color. I don't know if that's coming through too good or not here. Level guide eyes in there. If you flip it over, you can see it's made in Korea. So we got a serial number there. That's where your electrical input goes. It looks like it's greased pretty well. I have a power supply unit here on my bench, which is a 12, 30 volts, 10 amps. So that's what I'm going to be using to power this thing up with here on the bench. And I'm going to use that just so I could uh, put some line on it. I got two of them. One's going on a VIP rod from Daiwa. The other one's going on a Pin Saber Pro rod. So uh, these are going to be my reels for Vermilion Rockfish, uh, California Red Snapper, just our usual 300 foot drop stuff out here. I'm a, I fish the Channel Islands. Also I'm going to use this for sand dabs. Uh, we're allowed to fish 20 hit ganyons for those. So uh, hopefully I can go out this Sunday. Today's Friday night. So uh, next thing I'm going to do is just uh, pack these things full of braid. I picked up a spool of this right here. It's rated at 3.0, so I'm guessing this is PE3. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it is 55 pound test, eight braid, so it's an X8, it's four strands, multicolor, and I have 1,093 yards. And it says it is 3.0. So if I come and look at this little card right here, for PE3, it says I can fit 300 meters and right here I have a 
1093 yards which is probably about a thousand meters so I should have enough to just pull up both of these drills and still have a little extra I'll let you know how that goes guys um, I'll put another video once it's pulled up and then if you guys want hit me up and I'll put up a third video of uh, after I use them how they've done for me and what I think of them thanks a lot for watching guys have a great day